let us have a new HTML file and this is where I'm going to demonstrate self invoking functions so which is which can also be called as immediately executable so immediately invoking self execution functions so I already have that as part of my uh, presentation earlier So just a quick look on that so this is a presentation I'm going to do now so you know I have can invoke itself so I can have a function which can have its own particular function to be executed by just wrapping up inside this kind of syntax so I have an anonymous function and I can have both of these particular parentheses and this parenthesis itself makes this whole statement to be getting executed at a time so this is this can also be written in this fashion all I did was you know just rearranged all of the statements next to each other and that's how it came in and those can also be called as immediately invoked function expressions they can also be called as self executing anonymous functions so let us see from here so let me have the script to be written for that and in this case the first thing the easiest way you open and close the brackets and you open and close the brackets and this is where I will be writing the function so I would like to say something like function and inside the function I would like to have something like this is message so that is the easiest way to do it so let me click on this and now you can see I got that function to be executed immediately so there is no click event nothing it is executed on the spots so in order to follow how the word quotes immediately executable functions it is better to do something like this so this is essentially how we are going to have an IIFE to be written so similarly I can have the functions with parameters so in this case again I'm going to have something like this then inside this I can start writing the function and inside this I'm going to have two variables a comma b and to those two variables I would like to send values 10 comma 20 and inside this all I would like to have is some of those two values to be displayed a plus b so let me have these two to be calculating and to be converted to string so that is how this is going to look like so let me test it and in return I should see value 30 so there we go so next let me have another function which can have multiple arguments to be passed to self executable function so in this case again I start in this way and inside this I am going to have a function to be written in this way and inside of this function I would like to have something like s equal to 0 and for variable i equal to 0 i less than infinite argument array dot length i plus plus so as explained before this is the one which contains all those particular parameters I am going to send irrespective of the number so if I have 10 items here this is the array which holds all the 10 items so now I can add all of those elements by just writing the statement and finally alert something like total sum equal to plus s so this is how I can have it so I need to have a semicolon at the end so this is the self executable function with infinite number of arguments you would like to send so let me quickly check this guy and there you go I got the total sum and now let us do something very similar but instead self executable function which actually returns the value so let us start with the function first so I start this 
I open the function. So once I start the function, I would like to have two values to be taken as parameters and in this case I would like to send 40 and 5 as parameters. And now I would like to have variable c equal to 0, c equal to a minus b and I would like to return the value of c. So c essentially returns based on the difference of those two values a and b. So I have a function but I would like to have this function to be returned which in fact it is returning. So now I can have a variable something like variable result equal to something like this. So which means I am saying that once you execute this function it returns a value c and that variable c has to be assigned to r. So which means r will have the value of exactly what c is being returned. So r is being assigned to c. So r will have the result of whatever this particular function is returning. So let me alert r. So in this case it has to return 40 minus 5 which is going to be 35. And there we go it is 35. So actually instead of doing this way I can even actually get this whole stuff remove the variable and I can just put everything right here so which means I'm saying that please execute this function return a value and that particular value which has been returned must be alerted so even this is valid so you can do it in either way and there we go